Hey guys, today's video is about a coffee table I made for my parents with interchangeable chessboard and central island with vertical slate. Now I started out with sapelli boards that I marked for jointing, then clamped a batten to use as an end stop, and then used my biscuit jointer to get the boards ready for gluing. The next step was to add some glue, spread it, and add the biscuits, and then clamp the boards all together. I then took out my beechwood boards and marked these before cutting them on the table saw. The next step was to align everything and mark the places where I would join the wood using my biscuit jointer again. These are the same steps as for the central island I started making earlier. I then did the same exact operations for the rest of the joints and finished the main part of the table assembly. Before assembling anything, I also added an angle to the sides of the middle level to follow the feet, using the table saw and a homemade zero thickness fence. I then did the same for the bottom of the table, glued everything and assembled the rest before sanding for a very long time to get everything nice and smooth. Now back to the island. I planed it down to get it nice and flat and sanded the result down using a random orbital sander. I then disposed all the slate rocks and traced their outlines Then I butchered the block with my angle grinder and removed the extremities on the table saw I also added chamfers on the bottom edges to get a cool floating look on the island. Now I put some tape on the bottom to keep it watertight, or at least resin tight, considering I was about to glue the slate bits into place, which is what I did with resin. To do so, I had to first maintain the rocks with hot glue before mixing and pouring the black epoxy resin. Thank you. 
using a 3D printed screw adapter, I finally sanded down the surface of the island. The final step before finishing was to make it interchangeable with the chest set, whose construction I will show in my next video. For this, I added inserts for M8 screws in the wood using a simple drill and screwdriver, and I also added epoxy just to be sure it would never move. Naturally, I also made passage holes for the screws on the coffee table. Now one final structural touch-up I did was to make sure the table wouldn't move over time, and I added reinforcements below the tabletop. The final aesthetic touch-up was to add a large chamfer on top of the table and sanded it down to get the best possible finish. I did the same with every single edge of the table. Now for the finish, I coated everything with an oil-based coating and then added some felt feet and took it to my other room for the tabletop and island coatings and that was it. So this is the final result with a hand-carved gold-plated chest set that I will make another video about quite soon. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to support my channel, feel free to share this video. And if you want to watch more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. I'll see you guys next time.